Oh yeah, starting the day. DHG. Uh, last video we removed the rear tire on the Honda Goldwing. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out, click up above and there you go. Uh, we are going to be working on the front tire today, trying to figure out how to get that out. Uh, but I've already got the rear tire on. Well, not on. Uh, about, well, I'm about to put it on and then we're going to jump in the front tire. Uh, you can see a little time lapse up here. Just me just putting it on. Just chilling, man. Uh, so let's jump into the front tire and there we go. All right, before we get into the front tire, uh, I know y'all seen the time lapse. If you hadn't checked out the rear tire removal, go check it out. It's reverse the process to put it back on. Um, so I'm gonna show you my rear tire real quick and then we're gonna jump onto the front. There's my rear tire, brand new. Uh, I got the back plate on. I am not putting on the sides just yet, the side bags. Because I'm going to do something with the exhaust and I need to get to it. But I did get a brand new, let me get my finger out the way, uh, brand new Shinko. So you can match up your size. You can see it's still got, even got the sticker still on it. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, the front tire. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and start with the front tire and get it removed. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is this little plastic piece right here it just pops off there you go reveals one nut there you got two down here on the bottom so just remember you'll be mostly working with a 10 millimeter so we're gonna remove this top one one the bottom one's down here uh i don't know if you can see them but let's are not 10 millimeters I think those are the eight millimeters let's see we got nine nope not a nine so what well, must be the eight so I was wrong so ten on top eight on the bottoms then you can remove your fancy cover there you go there's one then we can move to the other side and remove the other cover all right same for this side you got the little cover you pop it out we're gonna work with our two eight millimeters at the bottom Try to keep my bolts in the same place. Alright. One thing I didn't show you in the cover here. I see. One thing I didn't show you in the cover here is these little metal deals. The little the spacers or little nuts. You want to keep make sure you don't lose those. Set the cover off to the side. And now comes the fun part. Yeah, what a lot of people don't understand when they do the braking systems on it. When I got this bike, it had no rear brakes. They kept blading the rear brake, blading the rear brake, and it wouldn't do nothing. Uh, this one right here controls uh, with the rear master cylinder. It is the rear on this side and rear on that side, and then the other one is just the front brake. A lot of people don't know that, but so yeah, 
let's uh, finish pulling this tire off because I want to get this Dunlop off and we're going to get a new Shinko put on. All right, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to put a motorcycle jack or a jack with a piece of wood on it because you just need the tire off the ground just enough so you can spin it or roll it out, which don't be like me and then not have enough room to roll it out. Uh, so what we're going to do now, oh, throwing tools, throwing tools, seven eighths, this one right here, break it loose. Here we go. And you can take it out. There you go. Alright. The next bolts we're going to take out are these two right here. Hopefully you can see them. And I will say this is the perfect time to go ahead and do brakes if you need them because you're pulling the tire off. <laughs> Those two bolts out and now we move to the other side. Okay, now we're moved to the other side. Same thing, these two bolts, 12 millimeters. Hopefully my arm's not in the way. Oh. And there we go. Well now the fun part is all your bolts are out. You should be able to just slide out this rod. Of course it's been in there a while so we're gonna have to try. But you also have spacers and washers in here. You gotta make sure you keep track which way they came in and which way they go out. <laughs> Should be able to use a Phillips like I do. Break it loose and just pull. And there you go. It's out. Hopefully we can just slide this bad boy right on out. Well, I gotta get a little higher. Cause I didn't want to pull the fender off. There you go. See, there's your speedo cable. Yep. We have one spacer on the other side. What am I hitting? Well, I guess you gotta remove the brakes. I totally forgot that step. I apologize for that. One. Two, forgot to remove the brakes first. Okay, since I forgot a step, you gotta do gotta remove your brake calipers. They just slide right out. And then you gotta remove the brake caliper bracket. There we go. Pull the bolt, bracket will slide out the way, and then we can slide out the tire. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. 
Reason why is there's a little nub right here on the brake uh, bracket that keeps it from coming out. So, there we go. So again, this is the perfect time to go ahead and check your brakes. You know, this one looks like it might be leaking a little. Oh no, that's the the shock. My bad. Forgot. I got to do the shock forks. But I am replacing both fronts both uh, the rear brake pads they should be in here pretty soon and there you go so thank you for watching that's how I remove a front tire on my 88 Honda Goldwing once the new tire comes in we'll get it put back on hopefully the next episode we'll be doing the, rear, the brakes all the way around and then after that hopefully we're going to be tearing into the carburetors on this I'm trying to hurry and get this thing ready for summer so we can ride uh yeah so stay tuned we got brakes uh oil change uh carburetors uh we're also going to change the rear diff fluid so stay tuned thank you goodbye today is gonna be a little something more i've got a plan in mind a special thing in store